no proper bugat sedre. There's no tradition, tradition. You have filo and casta. No this. Welcome to Gigi Mix. Today I'm going to show you how to make super tasty burgatas, but my burgatas don't like your typical burgatas. You know the ones made with filler pastry and filled with custard. My burgatas are made with puff pastry and filled with a lovely, tasty, rosy semolina. The pastry is light and the filling is thick and creamy and the addition of rose and subtle hint of mustard gives you that, hmm, that's interesting. What is that flavour? Let me go and take another bite and then you take another bite and you end up eating all of them. So let's get started. Grind your mastiga or mastic in a pestle and mortar. Then in your pan, add your semolina, sugar, water, rose water and mastic and heat everything on a medium heat, stirring constantly until everything thickens like this. Now transfer your semolina to a bowl to cool. Right, the next bit is super easy, but makes it look like you've put in a lot of effort. Lay out your puff pastry and cut out your circles using a cookie cutter. Add a spoonful of your semolina to the centre. Brush around the circles edges with some beaten egg. Fold over your pastry to make a semicircle. Then with a fork, push down to seal. Brush some more beaten egg on top and voila, it's that simple. Then just repeat. Cut a circle, add some semolina, brush egg on the sides, fold in half, seal with a fork, brush over your egg and done. When you've made all your bogatas, place them on a baking tray that's been sprinkled with some flour and bake in the oven at 180 for about 20 minutes or until they are lovely and golden brown. When they are done, place them on a cooling rack to cool for as long as you can resist the temptation because they smell so good. Now it's time for me to dig in. Mm. These are so good. The semolina, it's got a floral fragrance from the rose. You can taste the mastica in it. That's a like, lovely little hint that makes them taste unusual if you're not used to mastica. Mmm. Look at this pastry, it's so flaky. Oops. It's all over the place, it's so good. You've seen how simple they are to make, and if you give them to guests, it's like you put in so much effort. All you have to do is like cut circles, put a bit, little bit in, fold it over, put it in the oven, 20 minutes, you're done. Make sure you eat these when they've just come out of the oven because they're super tasty and you'll get the best flavour out of them. But if you have any left over the next day, just reheat them in the microwave for like 10-20 seconds and they'll be just as good. Mm. Yes? It's so tasty. Oh. Oh, that's it. Oh, that's it. Yeah, mommy, I just ate a baguette. Wish more you don't eat them, yeah, yeah. Thanks for watching, and if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and share. And if you want to keep up to date with all my latest videos, please subscribe below. So until next time, bye.